Most of the energy a cell harvests during the Krebs cycle is held in energy carriers such as NADH and FADH2. These energy carriers stay within the matrix of the mitochondrion. They transfer their high energy electrons to proteins on the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. The inner mitochondrial membrane separates the matrix from the outer compartment. Large proteins are embedded in the inner membrane. These proteins are the electron carriers in the electron transport chain. The electron carriers are arrayed side by side like the links in a chain. Three of these proteins are ion pumps. NADH transfers two high energy electrons to the first electron carrier, an ion pump. NADH changes to NAD. The carrier protein uses energy from the electrons to pump two hydrogen ions from the matrix into the outer compartment. The electrons are then passed to the next protein in the chain and then on to the third electron carrier. This third protein is also an ion pump. It uses a bit more of the electron's energy to pump two hydrogen ions through the membrane. The electrons shift again to the fourth protein and then on to the fifth protein. This protein is a third ion pump. Using energy from the electrons, the protein pumps two more hydrogen ions into the outer compartment. The two electrons are now much lower in energy. They combine with two hydrogen ions and an oxygen atom. Oxygen, absorbed from the air when you inhale, is the final electron acceptor at the end of the electron transport chain. A molecule of water, H2O, is formed. A similar sequence of events takes place with FADH2. FADH2 transfers electrons to the second ion pump in the chain. The FADH2 is converted to FAD. Hydrogen ions are pumped through the protein into the outer compartment. The electrons shift down to the last protein in the chain. More hydrogen ions are pumped. Again, oxygen serves as the final electron acceptor and a water molecule is formed. Ion pumps are powered by energy from electrons. The ion pumps move hydrogen ions from the matrix into the outer compartment. Hydrogen ions concentrated in the outer compartment represent a form of potential energy, like water held behind a dam. They diffuse back into the mitochondrial matrix through a special protein called ATP synthase. This diffusion of hydrogen ions through the ATP synthase energizes the synthase. This energy is transferred to an ADP molecule forming ATP. This formation of ATP provides the cell with large amounts of usable fuel.